right. Today is Victor, this is Victor's painting challenge for today. So Sam and I set up a canvas. Yep, painted brown. And he has two tools to use today. A balloon and a rubber a spatula. spatula. And a balloon, all right. This is his challenge, let's see what he'll create. Hi guys, today we're gonna paint a landscape, or a seascape. Um, we're gonna use a spatula and a balloon for materials. First, we're gonna start with the sky. And it's gonna be sunset, so we're gonna add a little bit of white with a little bit of orange. drop of blue and we're going to mix it right on the canvas and then we can add more as we go but we're going to mix this up right on the canvas so we have kind of a grayish sky and then we can plug in more color as we go and we're going to try and cover everything Add a little bit more orange. Just spread the paint across the canvas. You can add a little bit more paint because you can always scrape it off if you want. But I'm going to try and spread the paint as evenly as possible. And we're going to come down about one quarter of the way down, and that'll be our sky. So the spatula works pretty nice. You could spread the paint pretty evenly, and you can also scrape away if you want. So we're going to kind of get a nice even ground. Take some from over there, spread it over here. So remember it's sunset, so the back will be kind of dark like this, and then we'll add our color in after, and the brighter colors. And we'll also use the balloon to do that when we get to that. So next, we're going to make a silhouette of trees with a lake. We're gonna use some darker colors. We'll use a little bit of purple, a little bit of green, because they're complements. And just a little bit of magenta. Same thing, we'll mix it right on the canvas. And we can also warm it up a little bit with a little bit of orange. And then we'll kind of start just drawing as if the mountains in the background will do the background because further off in the distance everything is always lighter so first we'll do that we'll get the mountains in the background and then we'll do the ones that are closer to us darker So then one sweeping motion, kind of follow it again. All the way across. Now we'll mix up the other. And this way, 
we're gonna start making this darker. And you can make it a little darker by adding a little bit more purple. And then kind of draw a horizon, well not horizon, but the base of the island. That's going to come to here and then there'll be another one right in the background here. We're just kind of do it roughly at first. We're not going for detail, just uh, big shapes and uh, so you can work from there by simplifying it and just shapes and color and, and value. It'll be like the edge of the island. And then the water, the water is going to be kind of similar to the color of the sky because it reflects the sky. So we're going to get our middle grounds first. And then we'll go in after and we'll do the clouds depending on how dramatic you want to get. Bright sun, we can use whatever colors you want, whether yellow, pink, orange. And we're going to repeat kind of similar with um, with the water, a little orange. A little white. And some blue. Same thing, we'll mix it right on the canvas. Same thing, just kind of spread it across the canvas and it mixes as you spread it. Bring this all the way across. And then we'll do like a little bit of reflection. We'll grab some of the, the brown from the tree area. And then we'll drag that down the way it reflects on water. And then we can go in afterwards. We'll do the ripples and reflections and all that. But right now you just want to concentrate on one big shape. And it's easier if you go from side to side because it gives the feeling of water and the ripples after. So there, we have that in there. And now remember you can create light with this if you want to, but I'll just show you how to do it. So if you want, if you say you want your sun to be, or yeah, your sun going down, you can scrape a little away. That's kind of drying, but we'll just draw that in there so we know where it's going to be. And the same thing, you take your reflection and you just scrape it down. And then from there, you can bring it out. And you can kind of give it the effect of the sun coming down. But we're gonna paint it in just to show you if you wanna experiment with that, you can do that. Okay. Now, let's try creating uh, 
sky with the balloon. So we'll put a little bit of um, orange and um, some hot pink and then maybe a little bit of yellow. Kind of a little there, a little there, a little there. Little yellow. And then for some brightness, we'll put some hot pink in there. All right, now with the balloon, just kind of go at it. You can see what it does if you just play with it or bounce it. But we're going to kind of move it around and see what happens. You don't have a ton of control, but you do in a way. And you can make big clouds, you can drag it across. We'll bring that orange right down to the bottom. So just kind of play with it and then drag it across. And then we can add more color if we want. Say some more yellow here or pink. Let's see if you can cover it in the same way. Just kind of cover the whole canvas. You can just kind of move it around. It gives it different textures like this. Um, Kind of not so thick at the bottom, as if it goes right into the mountains. We'll mix that pink around. And as you can see, if it starts to dry, some of it will pick up. But you could move it, kind of shake it around to give it that effect of clouds moving. And sunsets change so quickly. You kind of can work it like a sunset if you've ever watched the sun go down. Then what we'll do is we'll add some of that orange in the bottom and we'll use the uh, spatula. So we're going to put the paint right on the spatula. So just the orange, a little bit of pink, and then a little bit of yellow. Actually we're going to use the balloon. Change my mind. And you could change your mind too if you want. See. You're just kind of going to drag it across just so you're getting some color on there. And the same thing, like I said before, when we'll um, drag this across, and you can use the side of it too and this way you'll have ripples in there we'll drag a little bit of this to make it look like a reflection so it's it's a little touchy but it's still still wet so you can you can bring it down and then come across again Bring some more of this down here. Kind of just spread it across. And in this way it gives it the illusion of water. And then you could go back in and do your little scratches to give the illusion of the water, the ripples in the water. They could go all the way across right off the page. You don't have to put a ton, but just to make it, give it that feel. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna mix uh, yellow with just a little bit of the pink and with white. And that's gonna be our, our sun. So we'll do that. We'll put the white right there. 
whoa. <laughs> and let's see, just a little yellow around it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that paint to the water. So don't worry if you put too much, you just have to move it. So let's do this first. Press it. And then just kind of drag it right down. See how that works? And then from there, we'll um, just kind of gently move this around, pull a little bit of it out. You could even use the flatter area, especially as it comes closer to you and then just spread that and it'll mix with some of the other colors too that are already down there. So you go from one side to the other Remember, it's kind of abstract, so you're just kind of giving it an impression of what water would reflect on, and use your memory. And then, do once again, you just kind of gently move the brush, and or the spatula. <laughs> and that gives you, just gently spread it across, and then, you could do others take a little bit more. You could actually take a little bit from this and you can put it in different spots, across, wherever. However the light shines on it, just bring it across. And, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, kind of create like a, a halo around the, um, around the sun. Try and make that round and look how it fades into the color around it. So take a little bit of that, just kind of spread it out, keep moving it, and then once it does that, you can use your, uh, you know, you can drag it across to make it a little bit more dramatic. Comes up, however you want. Kind of drag it around. We can also add more if we want. Just a general approach and then some of that will reflect. And then same thing, you can take your balloon and drag some of that around. Swirls however you like. Take some of that hot pink, bring it up here, and then go across again with your spatula. Smooth it out if you want, just so it kind of blends in there. And if you want, you could take some of that pink from up here, and you could just kind of tap it down on the bottom, and that'll give you a little bit more too, because it's reflecting on the water. And just spread those across. So there, that'll give you a good start. I think. Let's see. So, sunset in the Adirondacks. Oh, Think about one of your favorite memories. Yeah. There you All go. Right. Thanks, guys. If you created your own uh, landscape painting using a balloon and a rubber spatula, um, please go ahead and post it on Facebook or Instagram and tag us, or you can email it to us. We would love to see what you created, and thanks for watching. Tune in next time.